Good morning, boys and girls. It's Jack Skellington with day 30 of Drawing at Home with Miss Angela. How is everyone today? Do you recognize me from a show called The Nightmare Before Christmas? Okay, it's really Miss Angela, as you know. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's hot in there. Oh, and my hair is going to have a bad hair day, but that's okay. It is Miss Angela here, and I am here to draw with you Jack Skellington from The Nightmare Before Christmas. Now, there are not a lot of colors involved today. It's really black and white. So if you want to grab your pencils and your paper and get out your colored pencils and markers and everything too, just in case you want to add a little color to it. But let's go ahead and start our picture of Jack Skellington. How do you like this big tie today? It's pretty awesome, huh? Okay, here we go, folks. Jack Skellington has a big round head. So let's go ahead and put the big round head in here first. It's a big one. We're going to take up most of the paper today. Okay, now we've got a big round circle that's going to be his head. Now the thing that stands out most on him, I'll show you, are his eyes. See how his eyes look? They're just big, huge black circles. So let's go ahead and put them in. So we're going to draw kind of an egg shape. But I want you to do something special. When you get to the bottom, rather than just ending it, I want you to make a little line that goes right out like that. Do you see how it goes out? There's a little line. And I want you to do the same thing on this side. Now this eye might be a little bit bigger because he's kind of turned toward you and this eye would be closer. So let's go ahead and do a big eye over here. And then we'll go back and put that little thing out there. He kind of has these little lines under his eyes. So now let's go ahead and put Let's give him two little eyebrows. And because he's a skeleton, he doesn't have like a real big long nose like we have. He has just two little holes. So they are kind of in the shape of teardrops, which we've done teardrops a lot. And let me go ahead and color them in while we're doing it. All right. And maybe we'll color in. I'm gonna color in the eyes while we're here. It's gonna be a lot of coloring black in this one. So make sure you get your black markers all warmed up and get your black crayons already because this is a lot of black and white today but we don't have to worry too much about the white because what we'll do is we'll just leave anything that's white we'll leave that white okay i'm going i'm drawing i'm trying to go fast i'm trying to go fast and now we're going to put after we're done with his eyes coloring them in we are going to do his mouth now his mouth isn't like ours remember this is a cartoon character so his mouth goes all the way from one side of his face to the other with a big line. So we're going to go ahead and make that big line and we're going to make him kind of a smile because this is a happy Jack Skellington. But he doesn't just have a smile, he has like stitches that hold it together. So we're going to make the stitches. Has everybody seen this movie? It's kind of a cute movie. It's not really scary but they use scary characters to, to make it, you know, fun or whatever. Okay, now let's go down and give him a neck. And remember when we drew the neck, a real person's neck, it was pretty wide. We had to feel our face and feel where it is. Well, Jack Skellington has a little tiny skinny neck, just like this. Comes down right like that. And now he has a bow tie. If I'm gonna come in close, see his bow tie? See how awesome it is? It's a little bat head. So we're gonna draw little ears and then we'll connect them. Got that? And then we're gonna come down and we're going to end it right there. So instead of making a round circle, now we're going to loop up like a half moon. And there's his bat head. And let's give him eyes. And the eyes are going to go inward so they look kind of mad. All right. And I'm going to go ahead. There we go. And let's give him the big wings, these big, huge wings. All right. And there they are. Oh, my gosh. We'll bring them back in. Now let's give him some big wings here. I might run out of paper by the time I can give him big wings. All right, give him his shirt. Now Jack usually wears a white shirt here, but I had a black one on today, so you're gonna have to go with my black shirt. All right, um, and let's give him, we'll just give him the little lapels. Lapels are these things on a jacket. So we'll give him his little lapels, but we won't go much beyond this because it's just kind of the illusion or the cartoon of him. All right, let's color in the bat. Let's leave his eyes white and we'll color in the bat head. Oh, it's, I, got a, I got a squeaky marker this morning. All righty, here we go. Now this 
might not look exactly like Jack Skellington because I'm just kind of doing it on my own. But it looks pretty much like him. And I want to see yours. How do you do this? How is yours going to look? Now the wings, this is a lot of coloring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave some big white stripes through here that I'm not going to see how he's got the white stripes through here. Your white stripes can be anywhere. I'm just making kind of a design. And then you will color in the wing. Can you see it or am I standing in front of it? All righty. Now I'm doing a really bad job of coloring today, but that's okay. You're gonna do a whole lot better than me. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness, it really is not good coloring today. All right, so we've got Jack and we've got, we've got his head, his little bow tie, and then we could do his jacket. Now his jacket has little stripes on it. So you'll have to go in and put stripes on it first. So you know where not to color. So we're gonna go like this. And then we'll color in in between all those stripes. So he has his jacket on. Let's see, let's do this one. And then we'll skip one. The pattern again, you must be learning patterns very well by now because I'm always doing patterns with you. So there you have it, you have Jack Skellington. Now if you think, oh, that's just looking a little dull, it's just black and white, do a background color. A lot of times Jack is standing in front of the moon. So you could always do your whole background in yellow. I think my yellow is puttering out on me. All right, and if you think, hmm, that's just not bright enough still, you could always put a little orange on the outside. Remember how we learned um, with the sailboat, I believe, we did some different colors and blended them in together. You could do whatever you want to in the background. It could even be dark blue. You want something that makes the face show up. So today we did Jack Skellington. I'm thinking tomorrow, maybe we'll do his girlfriend. What do you think? So this was day 30. We have been drawing together for one whole month and it has been so much fun. So tomorrow is day 31 and we will draw Sally from The Nightmare Before Christmas. So do what I tell you every day. Stay safe, wash your hands, listen to your parents, and stay creative, everyone. And I will see you tomorrow for Sally from The Nightmare Before Christmas. Bye-bye, everybody. Thanks for joining me again.